Welcome to the Lodge. You've accessed the Lodge Cast Experience. Warning, warning, dangerous spoilers ahead. Enjoy. Welcome, welcome to another edition of Hot Takes. Hot Takes. Hot. And it's a hot one today. I'm Woo. your Lodge Master with me as always is Brother Bishki. Yep. And Brother Lucas in the back. Sans jacket. We are in Burbank and we are getting a preview of how sweltering this summer is going to be in the Prius, guys. Woo. What are we going to do? I, I think sound quality is going to have to suffer. Our, our background air conditioning noise is going to be rising. <laughs> It's going to yeah. be a nice, comforting hum for all you <laughs> listeners to listen to. Yeah, I don't know if we can do sweat lodge. Yeah, anymore. please, no. please forgive us. Uh, it, flashbacks of First Reformed. It's, it's, it's required for our survival. We all got out drenched. It's, it's been a learning curve. We are here today to talk about John Wick 3 colon Parabellum. Chapter 3. Chapter 3, sorry. Parabellum. Parabellum? Parabellum. Par what is a parabellum? Noun, a type of semi-automatic pistol or machine gun. Mm. Doesn't it also gun. doesn't it also mean prepare for war, right? Mm. Yeah, mm. because they say it in the movie, which was a callback, <laughs> I might add, to The Simpsons season one. Bart's a genius when he pretends to be gifted and goes to the special school. One of the students actually quotes that exact line Whoa. and uh simpsons did it the five one of the five credited writers of john wick chapter three parabellum thought they could just sneak that in there without me noticing but i caught it nice if you want peace you must prepare for war yeah, is the line and then it's the second half of that line what do you guys are you guys wick heads like are you going into this being like fuck yeah the next chapter in uh, action it's an professional i failed to do my homework i have not seen john wick one two Oh. I didn't know there <laughs> was a John Wick 2. I completely missed that one. What? And the first John what Wick. The, what the fuck are we doing here? I remember thinking, <laughs> like, oh, it sounds interesting. Like, they kill his dog, so he makes them pay. And there was just something so beautiful and brilliant in the simplicity of that yeah, premise. But yeah. when I saw the first film, I remember being very crestfallen and let down. <laughs> That it was this weird, was like, fussy. alternate reality yeah. with this subculture of yeah. coins and shit. And I was, like, not in. I was, yeah. like, fuck this Marvel cinematic bullshit. Like, everyone's chasing Marvel. I'm not on board. I would rather see a gritty, relatable, contemporary crime drama with Keanu Reeves killing dudes for killing his dog. But if it's set up in this, like, fantasy world of bullshit, then I don't give a shit. <laughs> so, Bishki, um, really? Not one or two? Well... So um, what? I planned on it, and then my friend got food poisoning, and he had the Blu-rays, and then I didn't do it. So it was it was plotted out to see them. Sounds like a dog ate your homework story. But um, I think I get the point with chapter three, right? I mean, you they're, do. they're all the same, right? You do, you do. Roughly. Just in the first one, they kill his dog. Mm -hmm. So it sets it all off. But they, they, they call back to that numerous times in this movie. All because of a dog! So, I consider these two, all three of these chapters to be basically the same movie. Mm -hmm. I feel like they kind of just go in a circle. Like, there's not, nothing really advances. So, it's all really just on the spectacle of the action. And the movie lives and dies and rises and falls on that fulcrum alone. And in the first one, it was kind of new, like the idea of punching people with handguns <laughs> and then shooting them multiple times in the face. Handguns kind of as, I would say, percussion in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Mm -hmm. So there's punch, 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 shoot, 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 <clears throat> punch, 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 yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, like equilibrium kind of, the yes. cantata, yeah, yes. where they're bringing the gunfight choreography to a different level. I almost level. forgot about equilibrium. It's <clears> very <throat> much derived from equilibrium and interestingly enough i think e equilibrium and john wick respectively were directed by former stunt coordinators or stuntmen so like that these are ideas and these guys have been sense. carrying yeah. with them for years going oh man when i get my shot i'm gonna have scenes where they do this i'm gonna punch and they, with and they guns. do that yeah and they're like shooting and punching at the same time <clears throat> well there's a quote-unquote buttload of that in all of these and this one I feel like it was off to the races pretty hard. Like, there were some pretty inventive 
fight scenes, I thought. Yeah, my my audience was packed. Mm-hmm. Oh, it helps with a packed audience. And same, people, yeah. people were cheering for the first half hour. Yeah, it was nonstop same. action, and I was enjoying it. Very well choreographed. And there were and there fun were kills. And there were like real horrific, like, horrifically gory endings and caps to some of these fights. There were. Like when he's trying to kill a guy with a book. Breaks his neck hard. <laughs> he ends up like laying his head on the spine of the book and like then Moby Dick. And then cracking a thick tomb. Cracking down on tomb. his cracking down on his body so that his neck breaks on the book. Or he has another guy in a headlock. And he's slowly, slowly forcing the tip of a blade right into his fucking eyeball. And they yeah. show it, like, in the frame. And his eyeball, like, pops right in front of you. Yeah. And the crowd just loses it. And they love it. We had spontaneous applause breaks after all of the fight scenes uh, in the early going. Same. Mm-hmm. That happened with you guys, too? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Shit, man. People were eating it up. Yeah. I mean, they were, like, just in awe. So, my question is this. Like, people love this movie, apparently. Like, everybody's like, part three's the best yet. Does that mean that they just ignore the rest of the movie? And they're they're still surfing off that high? In- it's gotta be. Because <laughs> the cause plot, what? the dialogue, the acting... Like, it doesn't... All very weak. It's so- and there's five credited writers. Oh. oh. That, that, that's credited. When there's five credited, there's probably like seven to ten more that did not get credit. Keanu Reeves says the same things literally in every scene that he has. Where there's that line where it's like, I have served and I will continue to serve. Be of service. Be of service. There's that. And they just, they loop. Everybody in this movie has the same conversation. Was I, am I crazy or was that actually happening? I was, that's, that's actually happening because. How can you get away with that? I felt like if you just kept it all action at a tot, like 90 or 100 minutes. Why not? You've got gangbusters. This will play great. But it's like two hours and 10 or something. Whenever you had the adjudicator show up. Oh, the adjudicator. Who I liked, by the way. What? You know, some people thought she was wooden or she stilted. Was, she was but horrible. I, but I feel that was the script and the direction. But as a performer, yeah, yeah. she was dialed in and she was committed. She needed to but, be... But, I don't, but, I don't she, know was, but she was like literally surrounded by dudes. So it's like, how can you take she her seriously? She also needed to be Blanchett or Swinton to sell that. Right. Like, yeah. she, she, had no, she lacked the gravitas, she but her heart was in, in the right place. She didn't dig into I it. Know. I needed a lot more Halle Berry. I wish she was the adjudicator. Halle Berry was nothing in that's just, that was an extended cameo. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I felt honestly, you know, in terms of the pace and the running time, which again, most people just can never seem to nail down in like the 21st century. I would have completely omitted the Casablanca sequence and just had Halle Berry and her dog show up for the Hotel Continental showdown, sure. because that was more appropriate. Like we don't give a fuck about Lance Reddick, the concierge, helping him. Like, we want to see they wanted a Halle sh- Berry, and instead you, like, you have this pre-climax before the actual climax, yeah. and you make the actual climax tedious. It's like, I don't care anymore when you've got this weird like, shaved head comic relief, like, villain that, like, I, I don't really feel is intimidating, yeah, even though he's killing people, but, like... Because everybody's so deferential to John Wick that nobody is scary. They're just like... Oh, it's an honor to fight with you. And then they fight. It's like, well, <laughs> where, yeah. where's our supervillain here? You're mm. our superhero. Um, and then they go Lawrence of Arabia style and that's, that's why they went to Casablanca was because they wanted that aerial shot of Wick in his suit walking through the desert. That's it's a great why. trailer moment, but in the film it just stops it dead in its tracks. It is, and you think, yeah. like... You think whoever he's going to meet, it's going to be like this really epic fight or like crazy whatever. <laughs> he goes to meet the elder. And instead, it's just like it, nothing. It is the quintessential wagging the dog scenario of well, if we put a shot of him out in the middle of the desert in the trailer, it immediately pings as like epic, wide scope, huge adventure to people. Yeah, like, this is more than the other ones. It just seemed kind of pointless, you know? It and, was, and, and it was, like, shot at night, so, again, you're cheating the CG a little bit. Every you can't really scene, tell what's going on in that, that sequence. Every it's, not dialogue, as good, it's not as good as the first half. Every dialogue scene in this movie is beyond pointless, because they say a variation on, you know, he'll hand them a totem of some sort, whether it's yeah, a... medallion, a, crucifix. <clears> and, then, and then he says, you know, he's looking for safe passage or he's looking for cover or something. And it's like, 
I'm giving you this crucifix as payment. My debt is paid. <laughs> and then for like 10 minutes, Angelica Houston will be like, your debt is never fully paid, but I will help you this once, John Wick. And it's every scene. Yeah. And you just like, I just t tuned out. I was waiting for the action. I think. I mean, I, I missed the sequel, but. You know, the, the, fir the first film. The first film uh, is like he he kills them because they killed his dog that his dying wife gifted him, right? Yeah. So what I'm asking myself, having missed the second one and picking it up in the third one, and I do think, yeah, the, the all three films take place within the same weekend or like the same <laughs> night, essentially, yeah. like one continuous whatever. Yeah. I'm thinking. Okay, his wife is dead, his dog is dead. What is he fighting for? Like, why doesn't yeah. he just let them kill him so he can join his wife and dead yeah. dog in the afterlife? He says what did I miss in the sequel that explained that? I know they must have explained that. Like, he says in the, des in the desert, he's desperate to live on to earn the memory of the love he once had with his wife. To earn, he wants what to does earn that mean? Wait, what does that say that again? I'm sorry, I'm listening. I'm, I'm listening. Uh, no, no, that, and then I, okay, he's desperate to live on to earn the memory of the love he once had with his wife. What does that mean? To earn the memory? <laughs> he doesn't feel like he's earned the the fluffy, lovey memory that he has. So we're watching a man try to earn that. <laughs> By breaking their neck. Yeah. That, was from the, that was from the Wikipedia. <laughs> like, so I read all the Wikipedias. This one seemed the most convoluted of the three, but... <sighs> I mean, I, I, I was shocked that they... they I mean, first of all, we all know that this was turned into a bastard franchise because everyone's chasing the MCU. But secondly, I'm watching the third film. I'm thinking, okay, they're going to wrap this up. And then all of a sudden, like at the end when they're like, John Wick's body is gone, I no. like leaned over to my BFF and I was like, please don't tell me there's like 20 more minutes of this because like I was just so ready to get out at that point. But it's like no, they're hey, gonna hey. end it on they're gonna end it on a cliffhanger and bring him back for four. When what he's like sixty five? No, they're already shooting part four. Well, you but, know how old yeah. he is, right? You know Keanu Reeves ain't no spring chicken, right? I have to take this opportunity to put your BFF on blast yet again. He needs to put up or shut up. He has been mentioned so much on this <laughs> podcast. He needs to be here. I you're always saying, oh he he'd never watch that. Oh I can't invite him to that one because it's too late for him. No, bring you, on the BFF. You fucking figure it out, LT. We'll be there. <laughs> All right. You get him to Die. a movie. <laughs> you get him on this show. But yeah, they're 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 making a fourth one. You know, it's the like the fourth one. Five and five and six are coming. To yeah, <sighs> they're gonna shoot five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten concurrently. So, <laughs> I don't, yeah, like, um, this is, it's all about the action. I was and, just saying, did the applause die down? Like, it died down in our oh, theater. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah. I mean, like, each action sequence, it would it would just be, like, people would just, I think it was just from the waiting for the action sequence. The action was fine, but, yeah. but um, they got the like applause a, was just, and then at the end, like, they were it was smattering of applause by the credits. Like, yeah. people were just... Because because Branded. it's over two hours. You don't like when the script is not giving you any oxygen or nutrients. You do, you can't. You can only go. You can only coast for so long. Yeah, it's like watching someone flawlessly play a video game. Is what I thought. It Whoa, like, nice. Yeah. Did you write that down? I did write that down. I love it. Um, <laughs> it, it it's it's and they're playing it amazingly. But you but watching it. For a half hour is yeah. awesome. Yes. Watching it for two hours is like yeah. I need to start playing or I or I'm leaving. You need dynamics. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, if I was the director watching this with an audience and seeing those reactions as strong as they are in the opening slowly taper off, I would just totally rejigger the chronology, put Halle Berry and Casablanca up front, then have like the book have it fight built like to that. yeah, build to that because you know what? It never lives up to the first act. Those no. first thirty minutes, I am hoot hootering and hollering and clapping and high fiving. I was hootering so hard because yeah, you see guys' eyeball get popped out of his head like in in the frame. Like you, I've never seen that. Like it made me I was, gag. Like, I was I, seeing I was, some new things. Yeah, like when there's a guy in the frame in the foreground who's like mortally wounded, but he's not a threat. Like he's kind of injured in the deep background. John Wick just casually picks up like an axe or a tomahawk and just lifts it over his head and just throws it like a lumberjack in a contest and the thing just comes spinning towards us hitting the guy like right in the neck or something. I mean it's like the most violent thing you've ever seen. It, it takes a lot I don't know the last time I did this but I actually at that point I turned to the random dude, <laughs> the random dude next to me and I was just like 
dude and he's like yeah <laughs> so like that's a beautiful thing yeah, yeah. cultivate that so i feel again it goes back to pacing like you gotta yeah. build up to like the big grand you know dino may or whatever dino ma dino ma thank you and instead like you you're putting all your good stuff up front without realizing it you know because you're so committed well, to whatever was scripted or whatever you talked about and you're thinking oh the dogs in casablanca it's a bigger set piece it's much bigger but you know what it's not really <laughs> because dog. in the early going you have a complete sense of space and like you can totally see what's happening and it's just i don't know it's just more engaging the lodge mistress was at my other side we had gone to mcguffins beforehand and she had this huge drink and that action kicked in she was clapping she sucked that drink down and she's like i'm gonna go get another drink and i'm like this is this is unprecedented this movie has some magic to it she came back she was having a great time and then once we once we get out in the desert she just turns to me and she's just shaking her head she's like what happened i'm drunk i'm ready what this movie what's going on i'm like i don't know i don't know i don't know (laughs) John Wick 4 is going to be like two and a half hours. It's going to have like five different aerial shots of him in the rainforest, the desert, yeah. an- Antarctica. I, I, didn't need, I didn't need to constantly be cutting back to the 1980s like retro newsroom operator hub with all oh, the man. biker chicks <laughs> yeah, and like yeah, yeah. gender tattoo What was that people. about? Was that in the other ones? And it's like, yeah, they're repeating all the dialogue like yeah. deconsecrated in 30 seconds, like reconsecrated or well, like because John Kidwick excommunicado in 30 minutes, John Wick excommunicado in 20 minutes. Like, could you could we just like get to the fireworks because factory already? Like the movie is so high on its on its invented world. And there's no checks and balances, so I don't know. I think that might also be a matter of taste. Like, Lucas, I'm with you. I don't really give a shit about that stuff. I give a shit about the kinetic fight scenes that it obviously relishes so much. But this, like, coin-swapping, like, uh, mystical hotel, underworld shit, I could not care less about. Like, frankly, it's, like, embarrassing when they go too far into it. I'm like, just stop it, guys. Like, we're here to watch Keanu Reeves slap the shit out of people. Yeah. You know? That's what that's what people keep bringing people back. Yeah. Hopefully they hear this and uh, tighten it up and <laughs> switch it around and... <laughs> no, there's nothing to change. Sign our petition. <laughs> no, it's going to be the same movie for decades. And Keanu is is uh, been said to say that this is like his his favorite character he's ever played. He loves it. Mm. He never wants to stop. So mm. they never will stop. I just unless I he hurts know. himself. He yeah. will. He, well, then it'll just be Digi Keanu. Like I think he <laughs> yeah. does most of his own stunts, which makes him feel alive. And you know, it 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 looks good. They're just gonna modify him. You know, either they'll put his face on a on a stunt double digitally, or they'll put him in a wheelchair and have him like have all sorts of gadgets on his wheelchair or something, who knows what they'll do. Mm. But they're going to keep pumping them out. I mean, I guess I guess we keep covering it as they come out. We see what happens. Bishki, are you I mean, are you even going to see the first two or are you just going to you just going to write that off and um I'd say you could write it off, Bishki. No, no, I, I mean uh, um uh, They're not going to be better than the third one. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> I was happy to check in, and I'm happy to check out. Uh, that that was that was the Hotel Continental. I got it. I got the point. I um, not will not return. All right. Well, let's go to damn Wick Bones. I can feel it in the bones. Brother Bishki, since we're since we're grilling you about this. What I mean, as a newbie to the Wick universe, what do you have to say? Um, I preferred another Keanu Reeves movie this year called Replicants. Which had a lot <laughs> us, of us. Which had replicas. 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 <laughs> Replica. I'm sorry. I'm really, uh, anyway, uh, replicas because it had a lot more ideas going on. Uh, Keanu was going places with his acting a little more. And um, so if, if you got to see one Keanu movie this year, I recommend <laughs> Replicas. But if you have to see two, John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, was an enjoyable action film when it was an action film. And then when it wasn't, I was tapped out. 
I give it two bones. Mm. Uh, red-blooded American male is supposed to really love this film, and <laughs> I uh, Canadian thought it was okay. There it is, Brother Lucas. I I am guessing you're along the same lines, if not harsher. Um, not harsher. I mean, look in the early going, like the first five six minutes, I'm kind of like, oh, like. This is a little too, like, yeah, worldly for me, like, world-building bullshit. Um, but then on, like, minute eight, he starts beating that giant up in yeah. the New York Public Library with a huge book. And That's I was, a turning like, point. totally in. It went from, like, one bone to, like, four bones in that scene yeah, because spice. he's, like, punching the guy in the throat with this book, yeah. like, before Never he, like, snaps that. his neck, you know? And then he's, like, holding the book to the guy's face and then punching the book into his face. And yeah. it's, like, yes, like, yes, like, I want to do that to... Jimmy Savile, um, <laughs> but Lo- Loquisha callback. But yeah, it was just too long. By the back half, it became tedious to have to kind of watch the adjudicator kind of make the rounds yeah. and like give these ultimatums. Oh yeah, fish to like all it. these supporting I'm characters. I'm surprised they didn't call this John Wick Chapter <laughs> Three adjudication. Yeah, right. So yeah, by the end of it, like when you have those two climaxes, like in the desert and slash hotel, it's kind of it loses all meaning, and it's, it's not as good as the horse getting like kicking dudes in the face. Oh God, um, yeah, which was another oh, great yeah. moment. Twice. You know, when he like at wraps, least twice wraps the reins around the guy's throat and then gets onto the horse's back and just like rides off, dragging him, yeah. slamming him into the wall. He's, it's like yes, he's uncompromising. Um, so yes, this is a two bone movie if I've ever yeah. seen one, but I'll throw it. A half a bone Whoa, for that for that first act because the eyeball pop and the tomahawk throw and those knife fights like yeah. oh my god like it just was insane yeah and you're bringing like, me back and now. like the only two like micro cosmic notes that I I really wish the filmmakers would have kind of paid attention to is one John Wick's suit. <laughs> is like totally spiffed up and clean from start to finish even when he comes back from Casablanca and you never see him change into another suit like I always was under the impression it was the same suit and I thought man it'd been a lot cooler if the suit just got like more and more disintegrated and like by the end he was just like shirtless or naked or something like just completely beat up and mm-hmm. bloody like 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 you know just a savage that's kind of Rambo his superman warrior. outfit uh, right, I get it, I get it. Um, but it just like was distracting because I'm like, dude, he's fighting and shooting and sweating and bleeding, and he looks like he's going to a fucking cocktail party at the Met Gala. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and then two, yeah, going back to the dialogue, I thought, man, you don't really need John Wick to talk about anything. Like, no. he could be mute. Like, how crazy would that be? Yeah, they if cut his whole, tongue out. If this whole trilogy, he's not saying shit. Because like the only real memorable line in three films is like, yeah, I'm guessing I'm back, and that's in the first movie. <laughs> And nothing ever comes close to it. So I like, need guns. Yeah, so it's like take out all his dialogue and just have him, you know, be the man with no fucking voice or name. Yeah, you know? yeah, it wouldn't matter. Let his violence speak for him. I love it. Listen, I was added to, and I was so moved by you recalling the different fight scenes that I'm going to go up to two and a half <laughs> as well. So that's the power of this filibuster section <laughs> is... If you state your case with enough passion, it could sway votes and change hearts and minds. It pinged at four for me. Like, I was like, holy shit, this is like... That eyeball pop, man. It I'm was, telling you. It's great. Like, that shit His is eyeball great. eyeball pops. I can't, um, t- I can't take eyeball violence. I know you can't, <laughs> I but... Clo- I, had to sh- I had to close. But it eye. was great. But it was great. Trust us. So, yeah. It, when, you, when you have something ping that hard, it's like you get confused. You know, it's like in an erotic thriller where two people have like really hot chemistry, but then one of them ends up, well, they're a serial killer. <laughs> so what do you do with that? Well, you, you think it over. It's not that easy. Why couldn't we have a sweeping Halle Berry love story? Come oh, on, something. It, it's like she was, it's like she was being paid by the minute that she was there. Yeah, you know? she should have been the adjudicator. That's what's crazy. Uh, like she would have had way more gravitas, and it would have been way more real if she was slicing like up Lawrence Fishburne. Didn't, if she didn't have those dogs, how her... many crotches does that dog bite? Holy oh, <laughs> god! Yeah, and they're dead. Like, and the guys get shot, but the dogs are still oh. feasting on their dead corpse. Like, it's just disturbing. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. John Wick. <laughs> Solid date movie for you ladies. <laughs> Parabellum. See you see in chapter four. See you in chapter four, y'all. Love and light. Love and light. And payback. <laughs> <laughs>